Cause I want my community back. I ride out there every day, look at my community and like, God, I know God gonna fix it, but it's, it's just a disaster. It's been over two months since floodwaters overwhelmed neighborhoods around the Delta. Despite FEMA and MEMA's presence, many say they are still suffering and there's a lot of work to be done. People lost their homes, people still out their homes. Some people ain't had nowhere to go, and some people did. Flood water coming in your house is similar to a death. It takes out so many things that you cannot replace. Congressman Benny Thompson held a town hall meeting in Clarksdale to speak face to face with residents and address their concerns. So we were putting rumors to rest. Uh, we wanted to let citizens know exactly uh, what benefits are available to them. So far, many say they've gotten help, but others are still searching for a helping hand. They've been, they've been sending letters and they, they sent out a little check, but it, it, was a, it really wasn't enough. You know. I think they were very um, empathetic, they were very um, caring, they reached out to me in every area, they told me why they could not assist me, and I did understand that. Community leaders say it will take time before the Delta fully recovers. For those individuals who had five, six feet of water in their homes, uh, no insurance, uh, recovery will be slow. For those individuals who have five, six feet of water with insurance and the help of FEMA, they can come back a little faster. So part of what we're trying to do is to make sure that those individuals uh, who probably live check to check uh, have the same benefits afforded them as individuals who have resources. Residents hope that everyone gets the help they deserve. Really you're starting from stretch and if you have not set aside monies to do that in a home, it can force you into poverty or it can, it can force you to be without. And so I'm just hoping that this agency will come in and assist them as much as possible. In Clarksdale, Tawana Andrew, ABC6 News.